Hi, this is Brian with Amazon Web Services, and in this short video, I'm going to walk you through installing the AWS plugin for Visual Studio and configuring it to be able to do the work against your, your uh, account. This plugin is fantastic for doing things such as managing EC2 instances, creating elastic Beanstalk managed server environments, or even going serverless and doing Lambda coding, as well as managing your backend data storage. Let's go take a look at how to do this. Okay, now that we're in Visual Studio, we'll click on Tools and its Extensions and Updates. From this section, we're going to click on the Online area so that we can find stuff online, and we'll search for AWS. Now comes up the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio, and we'll download that at this point. Once this download comes down, we need to exit Visual Studio, and at that point, the install will happen. So let's exit. And we wait just a little bit, and now the insta installer kicks off. We hit modify, and it goes and runs through the installer. OK, now that that is done, we click on close, and we'll restart Visual Studio. So you're going to click on Visual Studio 2017. Now that this is up, if uh, the if it doesn't show itself, uh, asking for your login credentials, we'll bring it up by clicking View and AWS Explorer. This brings up the AWS Explorer. We'll add a new account because I have no account in there right now. And I need an access key and a key. Go get those actually from the console. To create those, I go over to the console, I click on Services, and I'm going to use Identity and Access Management, or IAM. From here, I'll click on Users add a user, and this user I'm going to call my Visual Studio user, and I only need to give him programmatic access. Uh, he is not going to be logged, this user ID won't log into the console. So after I give programmatic access, uh, that is going to uh, then come to a screen where I want to say, I'm going to give mine full-blown administrator, it's up to you with role-based access control, and I'll create the user. Now that this user is created, we have an access key and a secret key. I'm just going to download the CSV file so that I don't have to cut and paste these. And that's all I need to do in the console. Now I can go back to Visual Studio and import that CSV file. So that's in my downloads under the credentials CSV. I open that and say OK. And that's it. I should be connected to it. Uh, we'll take a look here and make sure it's working. Yep, I've got my default thing. Let's go see if I change to um, the U.S. East region, if we can see some of my VMs. So we'll click on Virginia, expand the EC2, take a look at instances, and there they are. Okay, and that's how we do it. We just installed the AWS plugin for Visual Studio. Very quick and easy, and we configured it to work. And now you can have fun working on the other services and programming against AWS. Thanks for watching.